what do I possibly mean when I say, having breast cancer can lead to your transformation? You're thinking, what is she talking about? I'm in a health crisis and we are talking about breast cancer. How is it possible to turn this into something positive in my life? Well, it is, and that's what I'd like to talk to you about. I'm talking about becoming more mindful. While you might've heard the term, let's talk about what it means and more importantly, how adopting a mindful attitude can make things a little easier for you right now when every little bit of easier is important and matters. I know when you hear, oh, it's important to be mindful, you're thinking, really? One more thing I need to do or I should be doing in addition to everything else? Really? And yes, really. The truth is, mindfulness is an extremely powerful and valuable tool. And while it does take practice to master, you'll notice the benefits pretty much immediately. So you see, it's a shift in the way you view the moment and the way you are present in the world. Here's the key. Mindfulness is using the power of your mind to pay attention to what's important and letting the stuff that isn't go, like dishes in the sink and piles of laundry that need to be folded and all the errands that you need to run. So often we're doing one thing or talking with someone while we're also worrying or upset and thinking about something else. And that keeps us from being present or awake for the moment that we're really in. The worry and upset have no value in this moment, but the thing you're doing and the person you're talking to, that's what's important. Mindfulness allows you to ignore the things that don't help you and focus on the things that matter. In Chinese, the ideogram or the picture for mindfulness has two parts. The top part means present and the bottom part means heart. So mindfulness is about being present in your heart. When I learned about that, I thought that was very beautiful. If you can practice, and it does take practice, it is possible for you to have more clarity, more wisdom, and more joy in relation to who you are and your place in the world. Before your diagnosis, you may have been living a perfectly healthy lifestyle. You thought you were eating properly, you exercised, you had loving relationships, you were doing good work in the world, and yet you still wound up with breast cancer. Or maybe you weren't doing any of those things and you still wound up with breast cancer. You were not happy and you actually were really upset when you heard the words, you have breast cancer. Very normal response. You may have plunged into despair or anger and maybe even fear. Also, normal responses. You're thinking, who's gonna take care of my family? Who's gonna take care of me? Will I be able to work? Will I lose my hair? Am I going to lose body parts? Lots of questions, normal. Lots of fears, very normal. Having cancer and going through treatment is very stressful and there are upsetting and dark emotions that appear for everyone. I'm here to support you in becoming a warrior goddess and a wise woman all in one. Cancer may be one of the toughest challenges you'll ever face, and it can also be an opportunity to turn your focus inward, to learn more of who you really are, and to care for yourself as well as you have cared for others. Connect more strongly than ever with your inner spirit. I'm here to help you on that journey and that path. If you had old behaviors that no longer serve you, and who doesn't, we all do. Here's your opportunity to grow. Now you can choose to nourish your body with the best foods. I'm gonna teach you how to do that. You can give yourself permission to engage in self-care. I'm gonna help you learn how to do that. And you can adopt positive mindsets like self-love, confidence, and pride. Yes, pride. Check in with your spirit and mind. Is it time to learn new, healthier ways of dealing with external and internal stresses? I think so. Rooting your mind in the present moment and focusing on positive emotions will increase compassion for yourself first, and then you'll be able to have more compassion for others. 
and it will help you deepen your understanding of your current situation. How does this apply to my life now, you're thinking? I'm in the middle of going to chemotherapy, I have surgery, I have work, I have doctor's appointments, yuck. How will this help me become more mindful? And how will mindfulness help me feel better? Mindfulness is the practice of focusing your attention in a particular direction. You see, energy follows attention. In other words, if you're caught in a feeling of hopelessness, for example, and you can't stop thinking about how your life is not so great right now, it's not the way you envisioned it, you're giving those emotions more energy. And that can lead to even more despondency or depression, and you're in a vicious self-defeating cycle. Instead, I want to help you learn to focus your attention on something positive or even neutral. Let's try a quick mindfulness exercise. This is called anchoring or grounding. And I found that if you're very anxious, let's say you've got one of your chemotherapy appointments coming up, you're going for surgery, you're meeting with a doctor, this exercise or meditation is a great way for you to learn how to calm yourself down. And that's going to help you feel empowered. You can do this with your eyes open or closed. So I'd like everybody to just sit with your feet on the ground. And then the beginning parts of this, we're just going to take a breath in through our nose. And then we're going to blow the energy out through our mouth. And we're going to breathe in again. And then when you breathe in, I want you to breathe in the light. And then as you breathe out, I want you to think about the energy coming out through this hole in the top of your head. That's called the Chittakash space right up here. So we're going to breathe in. And as we breathe in, we're going to think about the energy coming into our heart. And as we blow out, we're going to blow out, but have the energy coming up and out through this imaginary hole in the top of your head. So I want you to think about a place where you had a really positive, good time. It could be the ocean or the beach. It could be the forest. Or maybe you even had a great time where you were relaxed and feeling really happy in a city. But everybody, think about which place that you'd like to be in right now. And then as we breathe in, I'd like you to feel with your feet, if you're at the ocean, the sand between your toes. And if you're in the forest, the moss between your toes. And if you're in the city, the feet, your feet are on the concrete and you can feel the concrete and how it's supporting you. And then blow out. And then we're going to breathe in again. And this time I want people to hear the sounds of where you are. If you're at the ocean, you can hear the waves. And if you're in the forest, you can hear the birds. And if you're in the city, you can hear the sounds of the cars and the taxis and the truck. And right now, I hear a train where I am. Now we're going to breathe out. Now we're going to breathe in again. And this time, we're going to smell. So if you're at the ocean, you're going to smell the salt water. And if you're in the forest, you're going to smell the moss and the trees. And if you're in the city, you're going to smell the city. And once again, we're going to blow out and blow the energy up through a hole in the top of your head. Now, this will help you release any anxiety you feel coursing through your body as you exhale. And it also enables you to learn that you can pull up the nurturing energy of the Mother Earth into your feet and send it up throughout your body. Notice how different you feel right now. You have to feel a little bit different than you did at the beginning of this exercise. And that is empowerment. You can ground yourself at, the, at any time in this way. And you'll find that your anxiety can either decrease or actually even disappear. Even a few minutes of doing a mindfulness exercise such as this, and there will be others throughout the course, can give you some breathing room inside of yourself that will enable you to turn down the volume of the intensity of your feelings and show you that there are different ways of looking at everything, even breast cancer care. Change your perspective 
shift your focus and your journey from diagnosis through treatment to healing can become your path to personal transformation. I'm here to help you with that and it's my honor and joy to do so.